Or it's like with the AI excuses here. This is uh, just leftovers from a previous game that gets recorded in the in the following game for some reason. Well, let's uh, let's start with the red layer. You shovel past. Seems to be a Lord of the Rings fan here. We like this one. Or suck the new AI. We'll see. So, Burgundians. You Burgundians, guys. Burgundians get to research the Eco Upgrades one age earlier than any other civilization. And now, after the recent patch, they also get. Uh, they pay 50% less food for those upgrades. All of the Eco Upgrades. It's like Vietnamese bonus light, but actually a buff because uh, you get to research them earlier. But our main focus here is going to be the green player here, nice color, Arsak, playing the Malay here. So Malay already and according to Viper, the, the top pick for Arena actually. And uh, Arena is uh, it's about timing, up times, getting the edge of the opponent, usually by having a smoother cast lage into a solid boom and units production or some clowny 1v1 strategies with with uh, a 1tc all in play if i'm going to uh, theorize anything here since our said this was going to be a short game i'm thinking that this could be a quick cast lage melee monk siege push because the melee actually they have their monster is more or less full in the tech tree they have lots and lots of options uh, which would uh, most certainly allow them to go monk siege push which is one encompass strategy for arena see a little bit less after de than back in the wobbly and probably oc days but certainly still viable but that's my theory by the way could be something else could be the elephants as well because the malay elephants they are 30% faster in the cast age, and now after the most recent patch, 40% faster in the Imperial Age. Now you can't really go fast in Battle Elephants even with the 40% cheaper ones, I think, but um, who am I to judge? We might see it. So this is Arena, there's a fair decent amount of time to talk. And to drink beer. Hey, we're only 14, almost 14 and a half, 14 and a half hours in, after all. Arsac going for something wild? Well, he said it's a relatively short game, so I'd assume so. Cab archers and elephants. Ballet cab archers. Really? Really? No bloodlines, no husbandry, I think, either. No armor. Yeah, I don't know they have armor. Scratch that. They actually have uh, fairly decent upgrades. See, just talk with carambits. Well, the carambits have been buffed as well, so. Uh, but then, might as well just do the castle drop if you're going carambits. Back in the day, I saw Metal going for Burmese Cab Archers. Well, guess what? Ogilai 1 does that on a frequent basis. Down goes all the walls. What's the play here? I know Arsak isn't going to drop any more TCs. He always stays one TC, he says. But it's probably going to be the second Lumber Captain. Freeing up some space here for that. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Nice. <laughs> nice command over that one. It's worth it if you're making all kinds of uh, units, I guess.
But I don't think Arzak is the one to go Aztec, uh, to go Cavalry Archers. have here awful unicorn thanks for the follow it's been a while since we practiced the desert cup maps last year that's probably the last time i only want you but welcome you are awful unicorn likes the open map style arabia style maps as well actually awful unicorn um in a few months hafe in the chat is going to be hosting uh desert cup in the Norwegian Discord, so uh, that should be something suitable to you, like Arabia, like maps. It's next month. There we go. Exactly. And that should fit you perfectly. That's uh, Arabia style maps all over. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably cast some of that as well, even though I have the 2v2 no end running. And that's HSS. Anyone is welcome to join when the time comes. Yeah, real life getting in the way, huh? Awful unicorn. Makes sense. Priorities, man. You need to find some time for AWE as well. That's life, though. Six on gold for Arsak here. And a little bit of lag there, that uh, classic lag when going up to the next age here. Ah, the master thesis. What, what's your what, uh, what's your subject? What are you going for? Okay, we'll pay attention here. Nine on gold. Two builders moving forward. Seatro shop monastery. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. It's even selling. <laughs> yeah, Arsak is going to make any more theses anyway, so might as well just sell the gold. Uh, sell the stone for more gold. Scout is here for you, Shadow. Wait, Barracks? Oh, so Pikes. Pikes as well, then, I guess. Along with the monks. Color me confused. There's the cast age. 13. It's going to be 14 sharp. Ah, computer science. Computer science. You shall not pass this red snake name indeed, but in this case, I think Arzak might very well pass because you shall not pass hasn't even clicked up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Arzak is in the castle age before you shall not pass has even managed to click the castle age. Ay, 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 and here come the monks and the pikes, and probably a siege workshop as well. Rip. This is gonna be rough for the red player here, I'll tell you that much. And the scout won't be able to help either, it's low HP already, and the Arsac already has a uh, spear out. So what do we have here? We have the monastery making at least one, maybe a couple of monks here. Siege workshop getting a ram, and let's not let's just see about that. You shall not pass business here. Cast age on the way for the Burgundians, but how are you going to hold off against this when Arsac is just about to knock on the door and enter at his own discretion here? <laughs> Monk to convert that one only spearman. Thank you very much, says Arsac. That's two spears for me. Why is the red player going up to cast this date? Probably misjudge the Burgundians. Eco techs got them before clicking up because I see even heavy plow is in here. 
And look at the disposition as well. 12 on wood, 10 on wood, 3 on gold. Clear mismanagement here. Tries to wall behind, but good luck when you have monks poking at... Wait, how? What happened? Rams deal uh, area damage though, so even if you wall behind... I think the walls behind should... Okay, maybe it doesn't apply to walls on the buildings, but... So, excuse me, only a matter of time before our sec breaks through here. I think Red wanted to fuel the boom, which makes zero sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense at all. It makes no sense to have 12 on wood as well when you have double bit axe in fairly early. Just capped ram and better for splash damage, gotcha. Didn't know that. <laughs> Mother Monastery, Monks now in queue from both buildings here, and you shall pass is uh, trying to scramble out some mangonels here. But how much is that going to do with our sex? Our sex mangonel pushing here. Uh, we'll see for the monks text, but with more monsters up here, our sec could go into redemption if Malay gets that, and I think they do. Nice dodge there as well, saves the mangonel. Uh, jinxed it. Sorry, Arsak. It died. <laughs> that was close, though. Redemption indeed on the way, which means that uh, the siege on the other side of the walls here, they're struggling. Why the hell would you make a second seed workshop? I mean, you're floating wood, sure, just. But then get a market up. Get a market up, sell some wood for some gold, and use the one existing siege workshop. Where is the 100 current siege tower push? Don't give Arsak any ideas here. Oh, sorry, monk. Uh, that's two monks down, or nothing, but conversion is in. <laughs> One gets Celts on Arabia, this is a good old arena strat that came along before Wong pushes, quite right. Thank you and goodbye to the... Uh, the one of the mangalas of Arsak here. And we have monks in the queue again and even collected relics here. Yeah, it's not too late to convert villagers either. Let's see the mangalal here. Could the mangalal get a snipe? The knight is out here, but Arsak should be having another monk to convert to. Yeah, four monsters now, no less. The monk might die, but all things considered, still a decent trade for Arsak here. Gets the conversion again, or yeah, has that one going again. Hello, Deno! How are ya? Yeah, you can put villagers inside siege, siege towers, that's uh, still a potential play. <laughs> HJ really wants to see those siege towers, man. <laughs> I got a similar game on Arena Burgundians versus Smush Aztec. Ah, I see. Yeah, it's a popular clown play. You could, you can, at the very least, you could use villagers to climb over the walls to raise siege tower. Rip filter, by the way. Burgundians with the second TC going up just now, so not really getting a boom going here. Both mangonels make it there somehow, and Arsak with another potential mangonel. <laughs> yeah, you shall not pass. It's not going to get any any uh, good stuff going in here. FFS, for fuck's sake, fuck this. Watch tower going up, that's not going to do any good. You need guard tower at the very least, and there's not really any university here for you, shallow pass. And redemption definitely paying off. Oh, there's the villager conversion, Dennis. Maybe. Man, this is so annoying. Stop it! <laughs> Our suck is the Balrog, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, is he gonna pass? Is he gonna pass now? With the monks. 
<laughs> salty. Salty much. Whoop. I don't kill what's about to become your mango. There we go. Nice. And we're in. Arsak, it has done it. He's breached. He shall pass indeed. And he's going to wreck knights and light cap here with monks and thieves. And there's not much you shall not pass can do about this. There are four magnets now. Lots of monks with redemption. Even light cap won't work here because the monks will eventually get conversions in here. One monk goes down. But the overall situation here is going to <laughs> go into Arsak's uh, hands here. Tired of this. We're probably not going to see a GED here. This is going to be you shall not pass rage quitting in. Three, two, one. Okay, maybe not. Why is it not making lights? Oh, are they still scouts? They're still scouts! What? You got one of the best booms and ecos in the game and you're not making use of it here. Defensive castle might go up. But the Magnals are going to get use juicy trades here anyway. And the builders... Well, they do have loom. Stop, bro, please! Why would he stop? He's winning this. Can't. Oh, that's a juicy shot for you shall not pass though. But the conversion... <laughs> One bang out for three monks. I'll take that trade anyway. <laughs> Malik. Oh, maybe we get to see your karambits. Uh, karambits for you. Can we have a fun game? This is fun. You should not pass. Come on. It's almost even as well. It's 50 villagers to 48 here. Rip. Bro, I'm all in. No way back. <laughs> yeah, why does he play arena indeed? This is a common arena play. Castle goes up. Our second. Oh, he's going imp. I didn't see that. It's 25 seconds off imp, and he's going to be able to get those monks out. No traps out. Oh boy. Okay, maybe that's GG with imp kicking in then. Play a proper game. It is a proper game. You just don't know how to play arena. You shall not pass, and I don't either. I don't blame you. I hate arena as much as you. Our is victorious. Upon reaching the Imperial Age at minute 30. Let's just have a quick look at the stats here. Because the conversions stats should be interesting here. Uh -huh. Conversions. Okay, only 7 conversions. But I think those were almost exclusively Magnus, so that's some really ridiculous uh, value anyway, and clearly Arsak is better at producing military and keeping the game running here. <laughs> Even a stronger economy, absurdly so. And this app time here, 1356 castle age, that's just ridiculous. Pulling off a monk siege push with, uh, with Malay here. <laughs> 